Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yolanda and I, man, I am a zero-based cash budgeter. In today's video, we are going to be cash stuffing some savings challenges. And I, I am excited because I did finish off two savings challenges in my last video. And so I am starting a new one and it's a self-care challenge. So yeah, I can't wait to start that one. So let me just put down, put out what we are going to be stuffing today I'll just so I just want to keep that funds aside this is my $15 for my online shopping challenge and I'm going to go put that in my envelope quickly so that I don't forget and mix it up so sadly I didn't have any ones left over I didn't have any five left left over um so oh sorry wrong envelope here we go, right in the front. And yeah, I don't have a track of this. Okay. So I am going to start off with the self care. Start, I'm going to um, I'm going to start doing this self care. Sorry, I had a brain brain um brain freeze uh i'm gonna start this self-care challenge and i like i like the summer i like doing stuff for myself for the summer i and self-care is important to me so i do want to start off a challenge because i think i've been neglecting myself and it's for 200 dollars. and we will see i'm gonna put it into this envelope challenge because i took the envelope challenge out and you guys will see why in a moment um and and then until i make my own envelope but it came to me today that i should i should just start a self-care challenge so that i when i am completed with it i can do something nice for myself so i'm going to start off with this binder here one dollar and five dollars get skipped payday is going to get fifteen dollars because that is the day that I had gotten paid. And so, I haven't done this challenge before. I'm just curious to see how much it accumulates um, at the end of the year. Thanksgiving, uh, let's see. I gotta get my, my color pencils. So Thanksgiving, I'm just going to go down the line. Um, I'm not sure if I want to give it $55. I don't want to give it $55. I am going to give it the 25 So 10 20 and 5 I might come back and do the 55 but for now I'm just going to skip it. And we're gonna color these grapes, olives. These are actually olives, and I just colored them pink. We're okay, we'll pretend like there there aren't even any pink grapes. Let's see. Okay, and that is it for my Thanksgiving challenge. If I have more funds left over, I will obviously circle back to that. Um, but I am going to try to scratch off as much as I can in the for my hands and bands scratch off. Black Friday is, I'm sorry, I'm just going to move this notebook from underneath this. Okay, that is so much better. Um, I'm going to pick the highest number and it looks like the highest number is 26, which is right here. Yeah, it looks like it looks like that's the highest number. So I'm just gonna choose that one. And it's ten twenty. 
25 and 26. This is a, one of the challenges that I also want to try to finish up ahead of time. Um, so that I can work on other challenges because it is important for me to have the Black Friday challenge ready so um, I can commit to something else. I am budgeting at $1,000 and I can't imagine myself needing $1,000, but I just want to be prepared for it just in case. Um, Christmas. Just gonna pull this aside. I'm just gonna choose the largest number here as well. And it looks like it's 28. So 28. And that's 10, 25, 6, 7, and $8. I'm sorry if my voice is going in and out, guys. I've also done really well with not drinking coffee as much, and so I haven't gone to Starbucks in the last couple of weeks. I do want to budget for the coffee challenge um, for this year, next year, so I am still going to give it its $12. You know, better to be safe than sorry. And this is just to fund my my card for next year in regards to buying coffee. I just calculated how much I usually spend at Starbucks for the year uh, per day and then times it by the amount of weeks that you go. Um, the nail challenge, I do wanna do a couple of these. I'm wearing this nice and blue, so I'm going to pull out a blue. I don't think this is the same color, wait. Okay, this one is closer. And I'm gonna do, I wanna do the 10, I'll do the 15. And if I can, I'll come back for the 10. Cause it looks like I'm running out of funds, so. Um, I also want to pull an envelope. So I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I ended up creating a 100 envelope box. And the reason why I ended up creating one is because I was watching the mom life video. And usually I see a lot of people doing the cash, the, the envelope system, and they're always to pull out two or, or three. But I was watching the video and I just enjoyed her constantly pulling, 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 right? The envelopes. And so I was just like, you know what? I was staying up late one night and I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna make myself a set of 100 envelopes. And I, I don't, maybe it's lack of sleep, that's what it was. Lack of sleep, why I was less like, and then I made all 100 of them. Mine have tabs on it and I just made it in the same colors as what my old envelopes were gonna look like because I actually had scrap paper left over from when I made those envelopes, but I put mine with a tab on it, so. I enjoy, I like that, and I had fun making them. But, um, long story short, I'm just gonna pick a small number this time. I'll pick the 25. So I just put the money that I had in my envelope into these envelopes, right? So I'm, I picked the 25, and I'm gonna put 10, 20, and five. And I don't mind the fact that the money is only folded once. So that's why I I figured let me just 
by doing it and I'm just gonna stuff it here. I stuff it sideways so that I can know that it's already stuffed. And then when I look at it, it's sitting on my desk and I'm seeing all the cash. It looks really nice. So if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check out that video. Um, because I, I enjoyed watching it. It was just, it was really fun. So for my March savings challenge, I am going to, I, I know we're in April, um, but I do want to try to finish this one. And I think I can uh, allocate more funds to it now that I'm done with those two challenges. Um, even though I do want to restart the pets fund one. But for this one, this, this stuffing, I'm going to give it 30, which would be two of the tickets. Um, because those are $15 each. And I'm just going to color it green. Uh, I'm using this green a lot. And I'll, I, I I do think I'll, I will be able to catch up to the April one. And I just want to challenge myself and just, you know, get it. Try to complete it. Even if it's not completed in the allotted time, I just want to try to complete it. So now I'm moving on to my 8x11 binder. So I'm going to pull out my planner. And we are going to pull out our scratcher. And this bugger likes to hide from me. So I'm just going to put it to the side there. So this one is completed. I am going to reprint this so that I can do it again. The planner challenge is completed. I do want to restart this one, but I'm going to give myself a little bit of a break. And I want to do my scratch off. So I have three left. I'm going to try to scratch all three. Let's see. 2040. I think I have enough funds in case I pull a 20, which tends to happen to me. So yeah. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. There it is, the 20. Um, so we'll do 10, 20. So I might not be able to go back to my other challenges. Let's do this one. Okay, okay. Okay, so we got a five. And I do wanna scratch off the last one so that I can start my next challenge from Hands and Bands, I think it's the $500 one. Um, is there a $500 one? Uh, I gotta check, I gotta check. And that's another $5, so. Wasn't as scary, scary. It could have been three 20s down there, so. And this is gonna go into my Scratch Off and Hands and Bands. And the, this fund is going to go into my emergency fund so that's why you guys see me stuffing five ten dollars into my emergency fund i do want to get it to the three thousand dollar mark and so that's why i'm doing this challenge the money from this is going to go into that savings challenge okay so that is it for the scratch off um for this scratch off so i'm gonna start restart another one i think it's 500 um let's see i think it's 500 yes the 500 maybe i should just scratch one off for good for good measure um i i'm gonna scratch this one $15. I probably shouldn't have scratched it. Okay. You know, just to start us off for next week, I finished one, so I just want to scratch this, this one off. $15. It's going to go into my scratch off challenge. So 10 and 15. Now let's start off my self-care challenge as well. And each item is 
for a total of 200 and I have 10, 15, 20, 25, so $25. I'm just gonna, I'll color in this lady's hands and face as she's in the spa. There we go. And she's getting her first $25. Okay. That is that. And let's see what we have left over. Oh, there's actually a decent amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. 18 dollars left. Let's see. Let's give some love to Row Budgets bet, Budgets Challenge, her division table challenge. And let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So fifteen dollars is going into this challenge. And that should complete this row. Row Budgets has a couple of other other nice challenges, and so that's why I want to try to finish off this one, because um, I purchased some other ones, and I just want to kind of complete this one because it's been I've been doing it for a while, and um, I and it's a smaller challenge than I than my other ones are, so that's 126. I am left with three dollars left. I don't think three dollars can do much. Let me see. I'm going to go back to my mini challenges. Okay. Thank you, hands and bands, for the token. I am just going to close this up. Um, so for the three dollars that is left over if anything i'll put them in my one dollar and five dollar challenge but i want to see if i can put anything towards black friday and christmas if there's low number here so black friday is definitely an out because the lowest number here is 12 and christmas um Nope, the lowest number here is eight and I don't have eight dollars. So coffee challenge and the nail challenge can't be done. Neither can this one. So I'm just gonna put it into my one dollar challenge. So one, two, and three. And usually this is for rollover money, but I don't wanna just leave this three dollars here lingering in this envelope. I I just wanna put it give it a place, right? And that is it. I'm just going to clean up some of this scratch off. This is scratch off fairy dust from Hands and Vans. Okay. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, if you like cash stuffing, budgeting, and savings challenge videos, uh, please consider subscribing to this channel. I want to thank all of you guys once again for constantly supporting my challenge, my, ch well, my channel, not my challenge, my channel. And I'm hoping to introduce another savings challenge next week, but, um, I haven't picked it yet out of my envelope of orders of challenges that I had purchased off of Etsy. And I do want to pick a challenge that I haven't really done before or a pick a new um, a new YouTuber that I haven't done before. So that's, I'll probably introduce that next week. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.